Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. Today we're actually gonna be tackling more popular levels. I know that the last episode was also popular levels, but I haven't played in about a week, so there should be a whole bunch of new excellent courses to check out in the popular courses section. So we might as well go ahead and do this and sort of see what it go, ends up going on. Um, but this is the weekly, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten levels to check out. They're all brand new for me at the least, so that'll be cool. Starting with level one, it says NASA? Or no, Massa, maybe M for Mario. Mario, I forget what NASA stands for. Yeah, it's National Agency of Space something, maybe? I don't know, uh, planetary exploration anyways. <laughs> I might be totally wrong with it, with it, whatever the acronym stands for. But now it's Mario instead of National, if that's what the N stands for. Who knows, but it's planetary exploration. I just I just want to explore space in Super Mario World theme. That's a ton of fun. Oh, and of course, you have to have the Mario Galaxy theme whenever you're going into space. What is going on here? Uh, oh, I can get the Fire Flower and do nothing. Maybe I can go back? Uh, whoa, okay, I'm free. Oh, look at this, it's a, it's a spaceship. Oh, cool. All right, up we go to whatever planet we wanna find. Oh, this is super cool. So we're exploring space. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no, the bonsai bills are up here. I love Mario Galaxy, so this is really cool. And what is this? Are these asteroids? They may be asteroids. That might be the idea. Oh boy, this bonsai bill is in hot pursuit. Ooh, got him. And we got all these, oh gosh. Ah, uh, wait, 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 oh, come on. <laughs> all the buzzy beetles. No, <laughs> I can't see what's in front of me. There we go. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to dodge these guys too. Watch it. Luckily, we're moving, so it makes it much harder for them to hit us. Ooh, we got some alien spaceships. Oh no. Grabbing all these coins. Lots of flying coins in space, of course. Oh, and we made it to a checkpoint. <laughs> Our entire ship is falling apart. Okay, so where are we going now? It looks like I can only go this way. Oh, is this a different ship? Going to the left? Oh, now we're here. Oh, look, it's a giant octopus guy. Hello! He's waving at us. I guess we went to the planet of Oct Octopi. And look at this, it's, it's low gravity, everything we can jump around. This is so cool. What's going on over this way, though? Oh, we got one of the claws. Oh, he's grabbing onto us. Hold on tight, Mario. Whoa. Ow, dunk in the wall. That's not good. I guess I have to hit this, right? Hold on. No, oh, I keep missing it. <laughs> Got it. And is there anything of interest going on on top of him? Nothing I can reach. All right. Whoa. Got to be careful. I can hit this switch, though. Turn it back into this. I love all these guys. They're fun. Whee! They're just sort of hanging out everywhere. Very cool idea so far. What's going on up here? The low gravity is tough to get used to. Okay, so it looks like I did everything the way I was supposed to, because now we can go through this door, and I made sure to get the checkpoint. Whoa. Uh-oh. What's happening? I don't know. This is scary. Oh, is it like a, it's another UFO. And Bowser! Oh, great. This is like Mario Galaxy. Come on, let's get him. Oh no, watch it. Hit him with a bunch of fireballs. That's it. Oh no, try to dodge that. Luckily, you can't really quite hit me from here. The cloud is, is very helpful. There we go, we got him! Oh, and there's a pal block. Can I grab that? Boom, get rid of the, the muncher, apparently they're called. Sorry, I got the names mixed up. And let's jump for it, ready? Ooh. Yeah, one up, very cool, we did it! We got through the space exploration, and we get to hang out with the little octopus guys. <laughs> That's such a cool little ending. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that was really cool. We're able to finish it in two minutes and 39 seconds. We still have nine more levels to check out. Let's check out this one. This one is Slide and Jump 2. I don't think we saw the first one, but we'll see the second one. Hmm. So I'm guessing we have to slide and then jump is the idea. Well, let's get to it. Ooh, it's Mario 3. These kind of levels usually are pretty fun, so we'll find out together if that's the case. Oh, I love this theme too, the Mario 64. Those are both games I really want to play soon. Mario Galaxy, Mario 64. I've been on my mind a lot! Oh no. I, I, I guess I wasn't ready for the jump part. I was able to slide, but I didn't quite handle the jump. Let's try that again. Going up the conveyor belt, going back down, and then whoop. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump there, but I didn't before and I fell to my doom. So I'm gonna assume we gotta jump. Let's get rid of these piranhas. Goodbye. Whoa, okay. Watch it. 
Let's definitely get the 50 coin instead of the singular coin. Oh, you know what? I do remember slide and jump one. It had this crisscross pattern as well. I know somebody else has had that idea. Or maybe we've already, no, we haven't already played this level because it would have already told me. I remember, because it'll give us the flag, but I do definitely remember that style. So I think we did play slide and jump one. But look at this, we're getting the full series. Whoa. I really liked slide and jump one. I'm starting to piece it together now. Oh, okay. Watch it. That was so cool though. Go on, go, go, go. You can do it, Mario. You're super powered. I'm not even pressing to the right, I'm just holding down. But all the extra momentum really works out super well. See you, Bowser Jr. Not, not bad on me today. We're just gonna slide right past you. Whoa. Okay, here it is the end, and we made it. We even get a little star. Very cool. That was a lot of fun. Really good level, just like slide and jump one, if that was the same one. And we're not too far behind the world record. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what is next? We have level number three, hardcore jumps. Oh no, Mario fell in a cave full of dangerous jumps. Do those jumps, uh, do those jumps to exit. Alrighty, I'll do those jumps to get to the exit then. Um, so this seems like it might be a bit of a challenge, only 7% clear rate. I love these kind of levels sometimes because they can be fun to you know, just keep trying and get mastered, or like master them all, you know, just really get really comfortable with it. Whoa, they are pretty hardcore. One wrong move, and we're going right into a, one of the spinning buzz saws. Oh boy, wow, whoa, come on, there we go. So far, so good! <laughs> I spoke just a moment too soon. I didn't realize that wasn't like one big platform, so I guess one part of it started falling. You have to just jump right off of it. Can we do as well as we did the first time, or was that beginner's luck? I guess we're about to find out. So I know that when I get to here, I gotta jump, jump, that's it. You gotta keep jumping, or you're gonna fall right off. You really don't wanna touch the floor for more than a moment. Just enough time to decide where you're going next. Whoa, okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Maybe that that episode we had where we tried like the, the most popular super expert levels really prepared us for this. There we go. That was a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. Wouldn't have minded if it was a little bit longer, though. Uh, what, what, what do we got here? This is level number four, 3D World game version. Love Puzzle Man made 3 world 3D World puzzle game. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I think we'll just have to try this to find out what's going on. There's a puzzle of some sort, maybe? A man that makes puzzles named Puzzle Man. Or maybe he solves puzzles and that's why he's Puzzle Man, I don't know. Anyways, oh. oh, I see. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, we gotta help him get across. Ready for this? Oh, ah, oh, not quite timing it well. Oh, that is tough to time, actually. Ready, boop. Oh. That's it. Oh, I like it already. So we got a lot of interesting 3D world puzzles. Excuse me, pardon me, we gotta go. Uh, so, what can I, oh, I love it. Ready, set, jump. There it is, awesome. And what's going on with this? Oh, okay, that was just sort of lucky of me. But that, if it works, it works. So what's going on here? Oh, I need to chain up the POWs. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. How do I go through the door? Or do I have to stand on the POW? Yep, there we go. That's cool. And what's going on next? Boop. Oh, do I squish him? No. Oh, I see. Oop. Uh, maybe not. I don't know what I do. I'm a little confused. No, wait, what? I guess I just gotta pop him at just the right time. That's weird. And there's something more going on this way. Hmm. That's tough. Okay, that worked though. Alrighty, I'm gonna put that down and go through the door. We're almost done, I think, or at least we're at the halfway point. I love all these puzzles so far. Whoa. Okay, that one was also weird. I got it first try by accident. Where are we going now? I have no clue. Hit the buttons. That's not easy to do. Yeah, I don't know what the, the switches are doing. I guess, uh, what happens if I just don't do anything? Oh, I see. That time I was able to do a little bit better. Boop. 
Boop. Ah, oh, almost. Boop. No, wrong way, wrong way. No, oh, come on. So the moment this guy pops out. Ah. Uh, oh, there it is. That was tough. But now that I know what to do, it, it became a whole lot more simple. And we got the fire flowers. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Ah. Isn't that weird? How does the Goomba even do that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Oh, okay, I'm getting a little confused. I thought I was hitting the button and I was making the icicle fall. I don't know why I was being such a dingus. I'm controlling the Goomba. Okay. <laughs> I totally misunderstood what was happening on that one. Oh, come on, get back up. Oh, I need to make you do a little bounce, don't I? No, no, maybe that was it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess the uh, the little fire bro was helping us out. It seems like there's more than one thing to do with this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once again, I solved it by accident. Ow, okay, that was just rude. Go, 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 go. Ah! I think I have to just run. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh man, go for it. Oh, guard. Guard the POW block. Okay, where, where's the POW block at? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Ready? Oh, no, no, no! Oh my gosh, so many people died there. That is not good. Let's try again. I do get the idea, but it is tough at the time. All right, nobody's harming my power blocks if I have anything to say about it. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. No! Ooh. Okay, so when it reaches like the halfway point between the two windows, or maybe just, ah, uh, no, 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 my power block! That's tough, you gotta do that for a while until the little fireball on the bottom gets all the way through. It's tough to find the timing for sure. Let's try again. So like if you see, there's a little house in the background. I wanna do that. Um, and it seems like if the bullet bill reaches like the midway point between the two windows on that house in the background, that's when you wanna jump. Okay, don't do anything for this one. Oh man, that's such a tough time. Just like to figure it out because it's way up there. They're only gonna be at the apex of the jump for just a moment, it's, it's not easy, that's for sure. Gotta do it a little bit later. One more time, come on. Ooh, that's easy. There we go. This one I can do pretty late because I just need it to be for like a moment. Ooh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on, did we do it? Did we survive, did we win? Get out of here quickly before I fall to my doom. I guess we did it. And what is next? Nice. Well, thank you. That's what it said, I guess. Hip? I don't know. End. Or maybe you said, did it say hip? I thought it said H-I-P. I don't know. But uh, very cool, we won. That was a really interesting one. It took me almost five minutes to complete, but I had a good time with it. Super interesting, I love the puzzle levels. I would never be smart enough to be able to make one of those on my own, but I do appreciate them from afar. We got level number five, the dual maze. Sophisticated mini mazes use the on off switches to open new paths. So once again, another maze level, another puzzle thing. Very cool. Alrighty, so it looks like for this one, to start things off, we need the key. Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's pretty easy to start with. I love this theme now. Hmm. Ah, I see. So they are really like little mazes. You need to jump to sort of trap yourself in a way into specific areas. And then you sort of have to undo it to get back out. Oh wait, I missed. <laughs> I got it though. I love the idea, especially since it's like in one little room each time. So this way, there's only one way to go to start. Yeah, that's sort of the, the fun idea about this, is like there's usually a lot of the time only one way to go, so it's, it's pretty easy to piece it together sometimes. I'm sure that'll get a little bit more difficult, maybe the points of entry and everything as we move forward. It's like a labyrinth though. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, I see, see, this is a bit more of a complicated situation. But now I can hit this one, hit that one, hit this one, grab the key, and basically, oh, oh, can't go back. Gotcha, so now it's a bit different. 
I guess I can sort of shortcut my way over here. At least for a moment. But how do I get, oh no, no, I just do this. There you go. Cool. That one was definitely a bit more tricky. I'm gonna jump up here if I can, thank you very much. Was that even more useful? Or, oh yeah, it was, it was. So I should be able to, boop. There's a lot to get to. I don't even know where we're trying to go. I guess to the green pipe. We sort of have to work our way all the way around. That's it. And then yeah, just right over this way, into the pipe we go. And there's even more. There's an upside down checkpoint flag. I didn't even know that was something you could do. That's cool. I will grab. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. How do I get it then? Um, Not like that, that's for sure. This is gonna make me fall all the way back down, but then I can get back up, land right over there, grab this, and get the key. That makes a bit more sense. Wait, was there still a way to go through a key door over here? Um, I don't remember. It doesn't look like it, but I'm just trying to be extra sure. I don't see anything, because I don't want to miss out on a secret. It doesn't, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, just making sure. But I know how to get back, so it should be pretty easy. Just going like that. And we'll just go right through the door. Here it is. Boom. We got it. So we're going through the levels pretty quickly today. I mean, I guess sort of the normal pace. Some levels are always quicker than others. And some are longer than others. I think this one seems to be a bit more of a longer one. Did I do that right? I think so. Yeah, I was supposed to do that. But then what do I do from here? I mean, I guess I could... Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> um, I'll just run off like that, there we go. I don't think I solved that the correct way, that one felt odd. But if it works, it works. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to go into this little corner. This one is like very big. It gets so disorienting at times. Oh gosh. There it is. Boop. And then down this way, ah, okay. Don't quite need this, but then we can do that. Hit that thing, and we're good to go. I love how many cool ideas you can use with the switch blocks. It's just like, so many cool things. We'll see you, bob -ombs. that was awesome. Man, oh man. Where do I go? Oh, okay, I'll go over that way. But I can't quite, oh, I guess I gotta start back from the beginning. What if I did that? That doesn't seem to help me whatsoever. I actually know that helped me perfect. Okay, grab that, go back down, and boom. How many more rooms are left? I'm not quite sure. Looks like I can go down this way, but I do agree this is quite sophisticated. It would have been very challenging to make something like this, but also like you'd probably have to do like a lot of play testing to make sure it's not super cheatable. That's where the, the real struggle comes in. Oh yeah, this one's just a pipe. Don't need the key, I keep looking around for it. Oh, and there we go, we made it to the end. How cool is that? What is inside of this one? A one up, I guess just in case, of course, if you run into this in the endless mode, you get some extra lives for your time. That's always fun. There we go, and boom, we did it. Super duper cool. Alrighty, so with that done, that was our fifth level. I think we're halfway through for everything today, so I guess we're making some okay time. It's 20 minutes into the video. We still got lots more to go. Some of those levels, though, they breeze by. Some of them take a lot more effort. Mario Land Super Ball Shooter 2. A sequel to my popular Super Ball level with a ping pong boss and a musical end. I think we played the original. We'll have to wait and see. Usually, if the original's popular, the sequel will be not as popular, but still decently popular, so the chances are we played it. So what do we got here? Of course, the Super Ball. I do sort of remember the setup, but there's been a lot of Super Ball levels like this. But of course, we hit the big bob bomb he'll explode, and we can move to the next area. A lot of them are pretty simple, it's just sort of about timing, not really about positioning, because we've run into some Super Ball puzzles that are about timing, or not timing, about positioning, and they always seem to be a bit more of a struggle to play, but these timing-based ones are a lot more fun. So what do we do here? That doesn't seem to be working at all. Oh, look at that. Now we can go back down here, hit the pal block. Very cool. 
Got some thwomps over this way. See ya, buddies. No, wait, that didn't quite work. Oh, I gotta get it between the thwomps, maybe. Ah, oh, I just barely messed it up. I'm pretty sure that's what you gotta do. You just gotta wait for the perfect time. Now, that sort of worked. Come on, come on. Yeah, we did it. Awesome. All right, what's behind door number two? While we're on a crane. I have no clue what's going on, there's too much on the screen. Oh, I guess I gotta keep swinging. That got me one of the pink coins, they're apparently called. Thank you everybody who's been telling me the official names of everything. I just, I, I forget everything easily when it comes to names. I like that with most games, not just Mario. So that was some of it, but there's more up this way. Oh, wait, 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 no. Huh. Timing of that is really tough. Because I can get it passed on one, but I can't quite the other. There we go. See ya, buddy. And that will allow me to get up this way. Maybe there'll be something worthwhile in here. There's a one up. Cool. And I guess I can just climb up to get this one. Yeah, that's our third one. Thought it was our fourth. Not quite. Don't know how I'm getting that up there, but I guess I can just leave it for now. Same deal over this way. This time we got a lot luckier. And then I'll explode. We can go up here. So the mystery to me is, oh, okay, that's just how you do it. Never mind, we're good. Let's go through this door. That was a fun little puzzle room. Huh. Oh gosh, no wait, there we go. Oh, that doesn't work. Well then, never mind. Let's hit this. And then I smack it down here. Oh, it's another one of these switch timers. So let's shoot it. Ah, oh, not quite. Hold on. There it is. Ooh, okay, now I can hit this one. Get the pow block. More munchers are being taken down. And I think it's the same thing as before, but reversed. You bet it is. Actually, I might have to go back there, down there, or not. We've got the spring, which I can use to get onto the donuts. Yeah. Hmm. Where am I going now, over here? Can I, oh yeah, I can walk past that. Oh, another one of these. I'm so bad at these, but I did it. I gotta hit it again. Where are we going now? This way seems to work. Oh, okay, there's a switch. Where, where's the switch at? Down here, that actually seems really tough. Okay. A lot, I guess you get a lot of time, though. Huh, so I just gotta quickly go down and then boop, boop, there it is. That's weird. But that worked, okay, we're good. And boom. Was that what I wanted? Oh, it's another timer. No oh, way, <laughs> I did too soon. Got it, got it, got it. No way, there was still more. That's it, whoa. I don't know how to feel about this. There's too much on the screen. Oh, I see. I was supposed to, how did I get it in there before? I don't know. Um. Maybe I'm supposed to stand on the crane? I guess? Yeah, that's the idea. So do that, hop down here, and there we go. I'm sort of stuck in here at the moment. What do I do now? I guess I get up here. That's a tough jump, actually. No, I can just do that. Never mind, we're good. Oh gosh, that was weird. Okay, so I can go that way. I always get those little do not pass blocks a little confused, to say the least. Now this one I do not time, or at least I don't time the switches. I time everything else. Ah, okay. It looks like it's gonna do this thing then. Awesome, I gotta go up this way. Oh, it's gonna give me a ton of coins. Thank you very much, sir. Anything of interest up there? I suppose not. And what about this? Um. I need a key from somewhere? Oh, I see, I'm doing this wrong. I need to do that. Whoa, nice! Very cool. And through the door we go. So lots of puzzling action so far in today's episode, and we got a boss fight of some sort. Oh, that was good. That was actually not what I intended, but I guess I wasn't supposed to get it past the thing. That time I do, and that's both of them done, right? There's more. Why is that? Oh, okay, maybe it's about the switch. So I'm supposed to do this, right? We're about to find out. 
Wait, what do you mean, err? Uh, was that wrong? Or maybe that's just telling me that I, I don't know what that's trying to tell me. I'm a little confused. <laughs> Got it? And let's just hit the P switch, and I win! No, wait, oh, no. I thought I was gonna, I'm so confused. That was that was the wrong thing to do. Where am I now? I'm, I'm back here. Okay, that's not too bad. See, that's, that's pretty easy. I am so confused though. So I guess, I guess I'm playing like a game of Pong. I thought the idea was to hit the Bob Pops. I guess I'm supposed to hit the Pow Block. But how many times do I do that? I don't know. I got rid of more of them, I guess. This is so weird. Cause it's quite easy to do this. I guess I just had to do it a certain amount of times and then eventually it'll give me the Bob on that has the key. I didn't know you could do that. What did that say? Oh, it said run. So it looks like this is the music portion. I always like these. That was very cool. So that was uh, one of these songs from Super Mario Land. It was like the World 2 theme or something. But there we go, we got another Super Ball extravaganza finished. I like it, course clear. And we get a six and a half minute clear time. That took me a while, geez. That's the longest level so far in today's episode. Uh, what do we got next? Level number seven is gonna be up and do. It does not have many plays so far, only 179. That's that's weird how it does like categorize it that way because it is popular courses for this week, but um like some of them will have 35, 40 to 150 thousand. Some of them will have 170, which is not, which is not a problem. It's just interesting. Anyways, we'll try this out and see where we're supposed to go. I'm a little confused. I'll give it my best try. I just I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, so it's a desert. I like the desert levels. Okay, goodbye, Koopa. Whoa, no! <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Whoops, let's try again. Okay, hit the Koopa. See ya, Koopa. I did see the mushroom. I wanna grab that. I'm jumping over that this time. I'm not falling for that twice. Oh, we could probably get a good couple of coins out of this. Whoa, no, oh, really? <laughs> I'm just not playing well then. That's the problem. Oh, and we get a couple of the Super Balls. All right, I do sort of see how this is uh, starting to feel like Mario Land, because I think Mario Land had some cool desert levels. Luckily, I can sort of cheat it and just run over the top. Hmm, can't quite hit that though. Oh yeah, I love the Monty Moles in the NES theme, because they weren't in the original Mario Bros. Can I get rid of these guys? You bet I can. Can't go in either of the pipes though. Oh no, ah! I am not playing well with this level for some reason. There's another one now. We're fine. Oh, I got a one up. Okay, that was weird. I was just trying to make my way forward. Ah, uh, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, I guess the Koopa shell is hitting them all. There's a lot of these things. Oh, come on. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Just keep dodging everything. It's just like a desert gauntlet. There's so many Monty Moles all the time. And we're at the end. That was, that was a weird level. I gotta be honest. Whoop. That way? <laughs> oh, no, come on. I got the lowest possible. I was trying to get to the Tiffany top. Oh, wow. So we got some kind of weird uh, adventure through the desert. Course clear. Alrighty, well, that was fun. Uh, let's move to the next level, which is gonna be level number eight. I don't know how to pronounce that. Undertale. Okay, oh, it's something Undertale related. Is this like a music level or something? I, I don't know. I haven't really played too much Undertale, but it's another game. I know it's on the Nintendo Switch. Whoa. Oh, is it a music level? I think. <laughs> that was very cool. I like it. Oh boy, oh, it's still going. I guess you can hit the music notes. 
I don't know if you're supposed to. <laughs> I feel like I sort of missed out on part of the game there. I'm gonna try to hit all the music notes on. Oh well, I tried my best. Uh, was that it? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I go through the pipe. Well, that was very interesting. Oh, there's, there's still more. Yeah, there we go. That was interesting. That was like a full song then. Very cool. Alrighty, well, there we go. There wasn't too much of a level there. I tried to do the like the timing with the beat. I do think that's a really cool idea. It gives the player something to do. Uh, I wish I had known uh, so that I could have done it from the beginning. But anyways, ooh, this seems interesting. This is supersonic green hill zone. Race your way through green hill zone at supersonic speeds and stop Eggman. Oh, this seems so cool. So I guess it's just maybe normal, the, the first game of Green Hill Zone then? That'd be cool. Sonic is a very fun game series. I haven't played too many Sonic games. I played Sonic Mania though, and that was really fun. And look at this, running supersonic speeds. I'm sort of missing out on some stuff, but this definitely looks like the, like the layout to the original, uh, oh man, yeah, it definitely does, to so the original Sonic game. Uh, you know, just Sonic the Hedgehog. I like the checkerboard pattern on the floor. Oh man, they have the different patterns, or not the, the different pathways and everything too. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and here's a checkpoint, let's grab that. They have all the different types of enemies and stuff. Oh, that is so cool, what's up here? Just like a different pathway again. This is so well done. Oh, there's the loop, -the I gotta do the loop-the-loop. -loop. All right, let's do it, ready? Running. Whoa, you gotta hold on to A, I guess. There we go, I didn't do it very well. That's such a fun idea. Oh my gosh. Come on, keep running. Even, even Mario can run at supersonic speeds, apparently. But this is so cool, because you could play it multiple times and check out the different pathways and stuff. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh man, oh, here's Eggman. Oh geez, that's so cool. Ow, because yeah, he, he usually has like the giant ball and chain in this first one, and I'm not doing a very good job whatsoever. Wait, am I just supposed to leave? See ya, Eggman. I win, you lose. All righty, well, there we go. And we get to save all the animals from the little capsule. Oh man, that is so cool. It has been ages since I played the original Sonic. I'm not very good at it. What a cool level. That, that might be my vote for favorite level of the day, for sure. Just so much love put into that. Good job to the creator. And then lastly, we have our first, or last level. 3G, 4G, 5G, pow, run, run, run. Feel the speed of 5G. Is this like a, like advertisement for like some kind of mobile device? I don't understand. Uh, okay, uh, we'll try it. I think these are all different like connection types for phones. I, I'm not really familiar with it. Uh, so what's going on? 3G, <laughs> and I guess this is how fast you run on 3G. There we go, come on. I do like the idea of this like super low, like the, the mechanic idea of this though. There you go, get him out of here. Oh man, it's scary. So I gotta jump after I throw it. Hold on to this one. There we go. Come on Mario, you gotta up your speed, your data plan. You're running out of minutes on your, your call. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. And this will be 4G LTE. All right, whoa. Oh no! I, I threw it too too late, I guess. Or maybe I shouldn't have thrown it at all, I don't know. That was a little weird. Let's try again. Uh, well, I might, no, but I didn't hold on to the jump button for long enough. A little bit of a tricky one. I, I think I just need to hold on to it until I actually land and then throw it right in front of me. Let's find out. Jump. Oh man, that just barely worked. Oh, you just, you can't do it that way. It's super weird. What if I like immediately threw it that? Would that work? I mean, it should. Let's try it. Oh, but I only got rid of one of them. So I just gotta make sure that all the enemies I wanna take out are actually on screen. It might be easier to throw it up into the air, to be honest with you. Just like the angling and the timing of it. There we go, yeah, that's easier for me. Nope, you can't do it that way. You can't just run into them, you have to throw it. That's where it gets weird. 
One more time. We, we know we know what we can't do, so we just gotta do what we can do. That's it. Nice. Okay. Oh, that was good. That was good. Keep running. Ah. Uh, okay. We made it. And this is 5G. So we're gonna be running even faster now. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, I gotta throw it up. You just like you can't throw it forward. It doesn't really work. Ready, set. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Let's try it again. Mario can't handle 5G. It, it's too fast, apparently. There we go. Oh, but I didn't jump far enough. That's really tough. Just like knowing what buttons to let go of while you're in the middle of the air moving through everything. Not easy. There we go. What? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, not good. Not good. Try again. Come on, come on, Mario. Run for it. I mean, I guess I could also throw it against the, oh, the stone wall there. It's a bit of a weird situation to say the least. This is really tough. This might be the toughest level we've tackled so far today. I didn't mean to do that. I can't handle the, the 5G speeds of the new phones. I don't think it's the phone. I think it's like some kind of like satellite thing. I don't know like wireless connection kind of thing. I don't really know. I'm old, okay? I don't pay attention. Phones are exhausting now. Like, before it was like phones, like, you know, there's like a new flagship phone every year from each company. And that was like one every two months. It's just like, I, I don't get it. I can't keep up with it. Dang. That, that time was a lot better. I was like super focused in on it. Oh man, it's a tough level. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this one. I mean, I know I can beat it. I just gotta keep trying, but this is the button combos are definitely a bit demanding. Whoa, okay. I don't know what's next. That's next. Okay, I don't have anything in terms of pal blocks. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Now I do. Throw it! Oh no! <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown it. Ah oh, man, it, it just gets too crazy. That's it. Oh, and did we make it? I sure hope so. Oh my gosh, quickly. Ah, uh, I don't know what that was about. But we got rid of all the thwops, hooray! And this is what happens when you lose your connection when you're in a bed bad area for mobile devices. You just can't load anything and you give up. <laughs> well, that was a weird finish to 10 levels that were popular this week. I really like the Sonic one. I think that's still my favorite. Where's the Sonic one? Number nine, the Supersonic Green Hill Zone. Go play that one. That one is so cool. So it props to all the creators though for being the top 10 most popular for this week. I am a little bit late. I didn't mention it, but it's like July or August 6th. So I missed a weekend. It's like midway through. Um, but yeah, I'll be trying to do more stuff soon in the game. I'm sorry I've been a little busy with all the other games going on. Lots of cool projects. I'm trying to work on. But uh, yeah, more Mario Maker 2 is coming super soon. Let me know which level of these were your favorite. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Sonic, Sony have watched at the end of the year, a Zebra Task viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.